Here at Talking Kit, we like to look over some of the best shirts worn by players, teams, leagues and tournaments. Whatever it is, we like to look at it. So today is the birthday of an absolute Premier League legend, Gianfranco Zola. So I thought, for full kit rankers, why not rank some of the best shirts that he ever wore? Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. Yes, you should know by now that we are the best to do it. And we are back. It is Wednesday. It is six o'clock ish. So it's time that we jump back into the rank bank, delve deep into the vault, and pick out 10 shirts for you to look over. We've already ranked them and we go through our list and then we talk about each kit. That's what we do here every Wednesday. So yeah, I'm glad you're here. Before we get into all the niceties and intros, make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well, that would also be very, very nice, and share it with your kit-loving friends and let them become a kit head as well. So yeah, welcome to the show. I am obviously uh, Josco Vardial. No, I'm not. I'm double A, obviously. <laughs> Mate, I cannot beat them allegations. That's all I'm getting all, all the time. Which all ones? The the bad old ones. The mother ones oh, are bad. Don't worry about them. They're, they're, they're in the past. Yeah, they're fine. Um, yeah, I was on a, obviously Saeed's channel, which I do. And just the, the chat was bad. What's bad old doing it? It's bad old doing it. Bad <laughs> Be joined jo City. It's 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 peak for me being on United channel, let me say. <laughs> anyway, I am double A, obviously. Of course, I am here every single week. I'm going to go to him because he's been away for a little while. So much so. That Hannah, when she does the intros to the show, she puts together the little titles. She was saying, I'm a bothering with Sean anymore because he doesn't seem to be here. <laughs> um, I, make, I, I make cameos. There's going to be testimonials as well, too. Super sub. So you're all going to social talking kit. That's what you are. Come on and get one in last minute. It's obviously GK Sean. He's been globe trotting. He's back now. How are you doing, Sean? We are good. Just about recovered. Um, had a heavy one last week, um, but I'm ready to go. Yeah, how did ready to the rank. Um, how did the game? Was it like a Bundesliga four side you played or something? That one. Yeah, they're they're seconds. So we played two games, won one, lost one. Yeah, that's good, mate. When's so the decide? Have right. you got to go back? Oh, we're trying to plan something next year because it's so okay. good. But right, well, I'm, I'm, everyone, I'm, everyone, everyone, I'm everyone's got there. partners, aren't they? It's hard to get. Oh, yeah. It's hard to get. We had eighteen players. We ended up with thirteen on the day because people get pulling out. I, I have to. I have even to even our, even our Tim even our Tim was warming up because he came along. Well, that he, just, you must, he was, you must have yeah. been scraping the barrel. Must have. Been. Yeah, he was. He was just um, kit man in the end. Hey, you look well anyway. So thank you for coming back. It's good to see you, mate. You've been missed as always. He's down there. He's the right hand man. He's the legend. Uh, it's obviously Kit King Dom. How's how's things going with you, pal? All good. Yeah, mate, not too bad. Um, I was recently working on some stuff for Gloss at Tropics, actually. Um, <laughs> all. Put them all. together. A, a new uh, home away and uh, goalkeeper, obviously for Sean. Uh, yeah. kit. Um, but would love, would love to get involved in more stuff properly like that as well. Because uh, yeah. obviously just putting the talking kit logo as a sleeve sponsor and putting the Kit Kingdom one as well, I was like, oh, that would look good. Uh, so I'm talking to a few people behind the scenes as well to see if we can get some traction elsewhere. Although, I mean, the tropics, I mean, we're, we're ready to talk. We're ready we to talk moolah. <laughs> so it looks good, mate. I, I was liking it. I was enjoying it. I, I agree with you what you put in the chat. Obviously, the tight little shorts have to be done. <laughs> oh, yes. I put, it to the, uh, uh, I put it to the chairman, the manager and the captain. They're all like, let's get this sorted. <laughs> Yes, yes. Done. Done. we filmed it. It's that's legally binding in my book, mate. That's all good to go then. Well, amazing. Well, I, mate, I'm looking forward to it because, like I can say, you, you you are very creative, and it's about time you started making kits and stuff for people. So, get hiring in people. What are you playing at? Come on. 
Uh, right, we've got. I guess we don't we don't do these intros anymore because we just we're a community and everyone just lumps in together. You know, no one's bigger than anyone else. No one's got an ego. We don't cater to that anymore. Apparently, the only ego in there is me. So you know, I don't want people in my life. But this person, just before we start recording, they cried because we don't do them intros anymore. So we've had to do a special intro just for him. I mean, it's, it, it's worth. He's worth it. I oh. imagine it's going to be worth it. Uh, he's returning. I think. Is it his third time on now? I think it might be. Uh, and he's also got a Desert Island kits that is due to come out. Uh, he'll probably talk about that and, and whatnot. But he's one of my favourite people in the kit community. I'm growing to love him more and more. Even the newsy sentiment are absolutely fantastic. So, you know, more more of them uh, anytime you want, Dan. That's absolutely fine. It is, of course, Dan from Shirt Hits the Fan. Dan, what's going on? Whoa. Whoa. Dance with your father. Whoa. Go clear off out of it. Go on. Would you? <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. All week, the ghost of Luther Van Dross has been haunting my house. Doing my nothing. <laughs> oh, how you doing, boys? You're right. He's a nice <laughs> bloke. You know, never say never, but you'd never have too much of Luther Van Dross. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Hey, amazing. We had we had my granddad last week with Dan from um, <laughs> DJM Kits, and we've got the ghost of Luther Vandross this week. Well, I just I'm looking forward to see who we've got the ghost of next week. Other than ghosts and supernatural beings, and they're not they're not messing with your shirts anyway. He's not pissing around with your shirts at all, is he? He's I, he, I did see a, a dodgy name set appear on the back of a, a Pompey kit. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, I think he's he's quite well behaved. To be fair, he's he's into the draws more than the hangers. Is Luther? He's he's much more of a a, sh- a shifter and a shuffler rather than a, a sifter and a sorter. So I'll, I'll leave yeah. him to it. To be honest, do you know what would be good though for when obviously your partner has a go at you um, for you know the amount of shirts you have? Just get him to sing. Never too much. Never too much. Never too much. <laughs> da, 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 da. See that, that? I've already got that on the letterbox. Ah, that goes through. It's like the, the signal. It's like the ring doorbell. So if you haven't seen Fork It Ranks before, it's your first time watching. What we do is we get 10 shirts from a player, a team, a league, you know, leaks, whatever it is. And we pick 10 shirts and we rank them. Or I don't personally. I send them out to the three people you can see on screen other than myself. And then another two people, Jay from Retro uh, Football Kits.co.uk. Uh, he ranks as well, and we've got someone from the community as well to rank alongside them. We score them one to ten. Each number has a score behind it, so your number one shirt has ten points, down to your number ten shirt, which obviously has one point. I then calculate everyone's scores, and it gives us our definitive list, which we then go through and talk about and moan and bitch and just just have a merry old time talking about football shirts, which is why. You're here and why we are here as well, obviously. Uh, yeah, so this week and today being his birthday, I thought it is only fair. We've not done a player-specific episode for a while as well. I think the last one was Beckham, I think. Uh, so I thought, as it's his birthday and he's an absolute legend of a player, play for some fantastic clubs uh, and, you know, Premier League legend, you would say. For, let's, let's have a look at the kits of Gianfranco Zola. Uh, turns 57 today. I can't believe he's that old, actually. Um yeah, 57 today. Uh, so, yeah, he's obviously played for a number of amazing clubs. I've only gone back as far as uh, Napoli, so there's a couple of Napoli shirts in there. Jay's obviously very happy, one of his favourite players of all time, and also played for his club that he supports, uh, Chelsea. So he's ecstatic. Speaking of retro football kits, let's get this admin out of the way as well. Uh, we are <laughs> sponsored by retrofootballkits.co.uk. You can go and get 10% off. Uh, your shirts there and an extra 10% off because they already take 15% off uh, the market value of shirts anyway so go and get an extra it's it's 25% off guys I mean what more do you need talking kit 10 at checkout we'll get you that 10% Uh, the two shirts behind me obviously I'm not going to own that one so that's from there and they're all from there and I think you know I think they're all shirts that we might see tonight so I thought what better way to nick them and uh, wear them for for you guys (laughs) I steal for you, is what I'm saying. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, so, yeah, 10% off. Uh, what is already 15% off site wide. Retrofootballkits.co.uk. Thousands of amazing shirts for you to go and steal. Basically, do what I do. You can go and literally steal good shirts there, guys. Go and do it. The fifth ranker as well is our good friend Jackson from Jackson's Jerseys. 
um, the legend of the kit community. Right, let's get into this week's kits then and start off our ranking, right? Number 10 on our list. I think, right, I'll go through it. This list is very close this week. I think these shirts are really divided opinion. And I think, I've not asked you actually, good shirts, good good 10 shirts to rank, do you think? Too many good ones. There was only yeah. one shit one. Well, you say that, you don't know if there is. You never know. I, do. I definitely do. Yeah, all right. Okay. You might be surprised. <laughs> you might be surprised. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going so high. Uh, right. Number 10 on our list then. 16 points overall from our rankers uh, this week. And I think Don might be a little bit surprised. It's not the one he might think it is. Number 10 is this one. It's the Coventry City 96, 97 away shirt. 16 points from our rankers. Yeah. So you're thinking... Zola didn't wear that shirt. He actually did for Chelsea. And uh, that famous game back in the night where Chelsea forgot their away shirt and they had to just borrow Coventry's for the game. I've got a picture of it that I can show you to prove that obviously he did wear it. I'm not a liar, uh, despite what Hannah says. But yeah, there we go. There he is. And he's obviously got the Chelsea shorts on. Uh, so yeah, they did wear it. GK Sean, let's start with you because you had this absolutely bottom of your list. Why? Do you not like it? Can't really merit it being a shirt he wore, though, can you? Well, not... he wore it. He I know, but that's why it, it. <laughs> it was it was easy to say bottom because of that reason, and it just looks loud and ab- abrasive and horrible on the eyes. I mean, classic sponsors, classic kit suppliers, classic crest, but not for me. The colours don't work. Okay, fair, fair one. Uh, Jackson agrees with you. Actually, he, he put it bottom of his list and says. Only two teams can get away with squares, uh, Croatia and Boa Vista. Uh, tablecloth with what looks like a stick in sponsor. Even Zola looks like he's trying to hide away. All right, fair one, mate. That's uh, some good stuff. That's fair enough. And our good friend Jay from Retro, he had this in sixth place. And he says, I love that you've added this one. Hear that, Sean. He loved that I added this one. Um not only is the story of us wearing it pretty funny, but actually it's a pretty decent kit as well. So both factors put this kit six for me. All right, then. Uh, let's move on to Dan. Let's come to you on this one. And you had this one. You like this one. It was in fourth place for you. Yeah. I Ten. absolutely love this kit. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't believe that. Fucking hell. <laughs> I, was like, I was expecting to see someone else. I genuinely am like, you know... Chucking Molly out of Love Island shot. Do you know what I mean? Um <laughs> I I think it, I think it's class. I think it's just it's so absolutely nineties. It's just yeah. brilliant. I love the fact that Peugeot is proper set in the middle. Yeah, robbed, I think. Robbed it's yeah, it's good. It's a good kit. Long Lecoq, sleep. Lecoq were good then, weren't they? As well. The huh? Coxport Eve were good back then. They had some bangers oh, of, of kits. They, they were they were top draw back then, mate. Yeah. They were great. Absolutely. Yeah, I've got to, I was gutted. Guys, I can't believe this is 10th. Gutted. Yeah. That's good kit. Peter Unlove. Sure. You know, where is the love, Tom? Where is the love for this kit? Because you had it in ninth place, mate. Well, I told you there was only one that I didn't like. I do like this one. Um, and everything that's been said, it's it's horribly good. It's it's 90s, <laughs> like garish good. Um, the fact that the sponsor and the the badge and the uh, manufacturer all stand out on what is a ridiculously garish pattern, yeah. Um, then, yeah, I think uh, kudos to them. And it kind of ties in with the collar as well. So, yeah, everything works for me on this. Uh, for mental 90s, loads to like about it. And, uh, yeah, just the story behind it is fucking quality. Absolutely. Uh, no change in your mind, Sean? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> me. Fair enough. All right, then there we go. Shirt number 10 on our list this week, and it's the Coventry City 96 97 away shirt. Which, despite what Sean says, he did wear in game, so he is a shirt that he wore and it deserves to be on this list. Uh, so just 16 points, right? Moving on then to number uh, nine on our list 17 points, only beat it by one point. And Dom, there's going to be a reason why. It didn't come last on our list, and I'll, you'll probably understand and, and oh, get why it has. I know already. <laughs> very, very soon as to why, uh, but it is this, and it's the last shirt he wore in his career. It's the Cagliari home shirt from 0405. 
Dom, we might as well start with you because it was bottom of, of your list. Why, yeah. why do you not like this shirt then? There's so many better Cagliari shirts that uh, I just love. And um, I mean, <laughs> most people, well, some people like a line, but I've never heard of it. <laughs> never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of it in my life. And I'm always what? I'm, I'm <laughs> some people like a line, isn't it? I'm I'm always <laughs> like I'm I i do not trust it. <laughs> when I when I see a manufacturer that I don't know, I don't know whether I'm a snob or I don't know whether I'm just thick. Um, <laughs> it's probably both. Um but yeah, I think it's just that I much prefer some of the more like classic Umbro Cagliari shirts. And the, the colour is pretty bad, to be fair. I, I think uh, I think Kappa had something similar at some point. And it's just uh, yeah, it doesn't it does not work for me at all. And that kind of gold stitching on the outside that looks like it's been turned inside out. No, not for me. Yeah, fair one, mate. Uh, the rankers aren't here. Uh, Jay had this bottom as well. Says uh, not really a bad kit, but this this is a top list. Uh, but simple, the U that breaks up the half and half design is a bit, he's been a bit PC, poop, he says. Jackson had this in ninth, uh, so we've got it bang on in terms of the list. If you're going half and half shirts, then you have to go half and half all the way down. It's like they couldn't decide which colour they wanted to do. It's too messy. Okay, that's fair. Dan, we'll come to you on it next. And it was your seventh place shirt. I mean... You look like you're a fan of a line as well. And I think... Um, <laughs> <laughs> did it... But well, a serious allegation. <laughs> I, meant, I meant the shirt, because obviously he's got it seventh place and the brand. Obviously, I think, was Zola wearing the boots at, at the time as well? Uh, he was fully lined up, uh, you could say. <laughs> so, lads, like the thing you've got... Like, um, do you know the story of A-Line? Does anyone know the story of this? I, I, I know the story of a few lines, actually. Yeah, so Tom <laughs> never don't know nothing. A hazy friend. So A-Line was the birth child of like something like Gianluca Festa. Maradona had something to do with it, surely. Oh, mate. Zola, I think there's about four or five, no, no there's three of them, three Italian players, all like basically come up with this like brand called A-Line. Which, they're now looking back. Yeah, it's genius, isn't it? Um, and the arrow going up, like you know, the pile with the arrow going up, as if like to say, it's like instructions, isn't it? Um, but basically, when they started this brand, started this brand up, and Pompey's last game of the season when we went up was away at Bradford, and they actually did these amazing, beautiful. They're actually more of a football boot maker than they are a kit maker, and their boots are gorgeous, yeah. like stunning leather, and um, he basically. Fester gave the entire Pompey team for that day A-line boots to wear. And they all turned up with these white A-line boots with a red logo on the side of them. I think that, and it's just, that, I think it's only short-lived. Like, honestly, mate, I think that Tony Poulos used to have an A-line cap as well back in the day. Nice. Um, <laughs> and that's the cap he wore everywhere. Um, but yeah, those boots, and they are absolutely gorgeous. They're really nice. Um, and that's what, that's what it all comes from. So for me, I was just like... I didn't really know a line made their kit, but it must be like it must be made out in Sardinia and I don't know. I just I liked it. It's a bit capperish, like it's fucking just mental. I, I hate Cagliari as well. I fucking can't stand them, but I just <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Capperish vibe, a line. What's not to according like? To, according to Dom, it's crapperish. But uh, someone who really, really did like it. Uh, Dom. Is this why it wasn't tenth? Uh huh. Uh, Sean, tell everyone where you place this shirt. This is this number. This is silver for me. This is second. <laughs> He's out of it, right? Line. Yeah. <laughs> why? It, why? The one reason I, it was like sixth or fifth, and then I saw the picture of Zola in it, and Zola looks cracking. It makes it looks the best he's ever looked as a footballer. It, you can see his muscles and everything. Um, I like the little tunicky style, half and half Swiss guardy look, um, it, and it's, it looks different to me. Again, it's not a classic, but it jumped out at me, um, and I think I'd want that shirt. I've Absolutely. never seen that for sale. I reckon that must be quite rare to get that with Zola on the back and a patch. Well, there we go. Shirt number nine on our list. A bit of a split, uh, a mixed bag between the five rankers, um, for sure. 
Uh, Cagliari and uh, 0405 home shirt, 17 points from our rankers, right? Shirt number eight, and it's the first trip to London for Mr. Zola and us as rankers. And it's the 97 98 away shirt. Uh, you won't miss it because it's right there as well. It's very, it's very yellow, it's very big, and that one's small. That's a youth, well, that's the only one we had. I wanted to get shirts that he's wore. That's a youth. Look, it looks... Probably did wear that if it's youth. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. It's actually his own. It's only two for two, isn't it? Yeah, it's signed. You may, uh, even, uh, even, it's even too small for me, which is saying something. Uh, so, like I say, seven, uh, 21 points from our rankers. Uh, let's go through the rankers that aren't here. Um, Jackson had it in seventh place. Chelsea in the 90s had such bold away designs. The orange and grey is one that stands out. This one is ranked low. Because they wore it in the FA Cup v Pompey and smashed us 4 1 live on TV. Fair oh, enough. Mate, I was there for that. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fair um, God, they were good. <laughs> and Jay had this, um, I'm sure, uh, seventh as well. Uh, again, great kit, but not one of my favourite Chelsea ones. Uh, it has all the elements of some of my favourites, but the colour combos make this kit. A little bit too much. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the rankers that I hear. Dan, let's start with you on this one. And it was your fifth place kit. So, obviously, it didn't bother you too much that he smashed your 4-1. Oh, mate. Yeah, I know. I just remember seeing it. Um, Ruth Hood was on the touchline in crutches. I've actually took a camera to the game and I've got, like, actual, you know, real photographs of it. That's how fucking old I am. Um, <laughs> I remember my dad took me as a treat and I just, I'm sure... Mark Hughes was playing for Chelsea as well. I just seem to remember been. like that was in my head. Um, but yeah, fuck me, they were Chelsea were really good. They took a piss. Um, I got it was might have been Viali, might have been play, yeah, he would have been Viali would have played yeah, in that game yeah. as well. They were good, mate. But that kit, I love it. I, I, that 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 era for Umbro, it's just lovely. Love the big fade out. I love the centralised. Oh, mate, love that Scott. Lovely kit. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, plug it in. Absolutely. Nice to do a yeah. line on. Look at the lovely lines on it. Lovely line. Lovely line. A line, you know, go from A line to Chelsea lines. It's uh, all them, all them in Chelsea do it. Well, I, I, I imagine Every last one of them. I imagine, I imagine you do. Sean, uh, not so much a fan of this one. Ninth place for you. Is it a color combination? What, what is it? Well, it's, it's not a bad kit, it's just worse than the rest. Um, what is it? Yeah, I don't like the colour combo. It's a bit too... Like, the one... It looks better behind you, as, but... Well, does that say cores on it? It's not, it's not the same kit, is it? Well, is it similar? The, is, it the one, is it the season before? I think before, the anecdote was yeah. 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 But that's the one the season um, before, yeah. Yeah, and it, it didn't look good on Zola. Not at all. Are, we, are you sure? Yeah, crazy. I don't like it. It, it, look, it looks like a canary. He's like see-through. He's, like, he's got wings. It does look like he's about to... That's his really aura, mate. He's just—he's yeah. a, a fucking angel. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's okay. Like him, not than an angel. Yeah, not as good as the rest. Fair enough. Well, that's absolutely fine. Dom, let's finish with you. Um, sixth place for you in your list again. It's you know, Jackson's right. What he's saying. Them away kits for Chelsea were mad. Some of them, weren't they? Uh, and this is just up there with them. You're a fan of it, or yeah. again? Hundred uh, percent. I think obviously Umbro had the guys, uh, their logo and the the crests, uh, and I think it works really well. Plus the fact that they used it obviously over the two seasons, as was common back then, um, used the two different sponsors, and I can't decide which one I think looks best because I think they both work really well within yeah. it. Um, and I think the like the Premier League badges fit in really well with the stripes on the shoulders. Uh, yeah. The colours mental, but it, that's that's brilliant. Obviously that with the full kit. With the Umbro undershorts on as well, <laughs> that is just different gravy for me. That in long sleeved, yeah, nuts, uh, loads, loads to love about it. Yeah, the only problem you'd have now, though, if to, to do that now, obviously it'd be short sleeves with base layers. Do you yes. know what I mean? Get out of town, lads. We want the big flappy arms. That's what we want. Football, oh. bi- football shirt, bingo wings. That's what we want, lads. That's oh, what we're after. No, long sleeves will definitely. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but there we go. It's uh, shirt number eight on our list. It's a Chelsea. Uh, well, this is, well it's, it was 90, well, it would have been 96 to 98. Obviously, I picked 97, 98 for one picture. And then the other two, well, that one and this one behind me is the 96, 97 version. But you know what it is. It's that shirt. Anyway, uh, 
21 points and at our list. Right, let's move up to number seven and jump little jump up in points. 25 from our rankers uh, for this shirt. And back up, we're going over to Italy for the first... Oh, no, back over to Italy because we went to Cagliari, obviously. And it's this. It's the 93-95 Palmer away shirt. <laughs> 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 Dan's having kittens down there. <laughs> well, you say that. Um, All right. <laughs> Dan, so if I might, come, we'll come to you. This was uh, number 10 on your list, yeah? Yeah. yeah Tell us why it, it, this for you is the worst that you wore of the 10. Well, um, on, on this day, actually, it's a slight uh, bit of history today. Uh, relating to this. So on this day in uh, 1763 uh, was uh, out in Massachusetts was part of the famous uh, Salem witch trials and a young woman was uh, burnt to the stake alive um, for not being able to bear a child because they thought she was a witch. Fast forward to 1993 and someone has designed a round neck lace collar and is still walking the streets alive today. <laughs> there is no justice in the world. And it's, you know, these are the sort of things we need to understand. With. Where are we? Where are we on a planet? If you can fucking knock that piece of shit out, round neck and a lace up collar, and you're not, you've not been killed. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. But on it, it's, it's, Oh, I love Umbro the bits, but that is so shit. It's odd. It's definitely odd. I fucking hate it. I, I, honestly, it's... that one, the Napoli one, fucking Vol Villa one, Sampdoria's lace collars. Can't I can't even go near them. <laughs> Fair enough. It does look like something akin that would be on Game of Thrones or something. One of the weird yeah. units would wear in it or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what ten for you? Not the best shit, obviously. I hate it. Hit fair, Dom. Let's uh, any positivity you can you can throw on this one, for, but because for you, I better say it quietly. You might like a, a round neck and a, a lace collar. Oh, oh, I love a bit of lace. I'm all into that lingerie. I'm all about it. Tie them up. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. and the older one. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Chelsea had this template. Oh. They just didn't have the the thick ring. It obviously it looks like something you would go joust in it, um, <laughs> or or you'd be like a medieval horse jockey. Um, but it, I love it. I love it just for how mad it is. Um, obviously, they were harking back to something because this tied in. <laughs> that's not a pun. Um, <laughs> tied in with the um, like the the Premier League stuff, like we'd said on last week's show with United's lace collar in it being yeah. oval. We're doing it old school, and obviously Umbro did a ton of teams with the lace collars. I pick up each and every single one of them any day of the week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I just, I just love them. We've we've seen iterations of it since, but I don't think it's ever been pulled off as well. No, absolutely not. Let's just go through the rankers that aren't here because I've missed them out so far. Just because I wanted to get Dan's opinion straight away on that shit. Just because the, the expert. What about that like barren woman? <laughs> I mean, that that's what he brought. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to bring that up. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Jay has put this in now. Uh, not the biggest fan of this specific template. I love Umbro and usually love lace collars, but I like them when they're paired with a polo collar, not a normal one, not whatever normal means. Also, the blue loop uh, at, at by the collar throws me off a bit. So he agrees with Dan uh, on what he's saying in regards to this one. And Jackson had this in second place. Uh, last of the great Umbro designs. Before they faded away, lace up collar and shield around the crest uh, with the classic Palmer sponsor, yellow and blue used brilliantly. Uh, we'll finish off with GK Sean. Six for you, mate. So it's, you know, middle of the road. You know, you're saying it's a good list. So is the redeeming qualities you like about this? Is it a shirt you, you're a fan of? I mean, I like it. First impressions, I like it. Maybe one, one or two few many lace holes, is that what you call them? Um, yeah. metal rings, lace holes, maybe one one roll less, and it'd been okay, a bit better. But okay, I like it as a palmer kit. Yeah, I quite like I quite like the little thingy there, the little arch, under arch, just a little the little circle. 
Well, the, the ring. moat, yeah. the neck moat. The neck moat. <laughs> yeah, that's a great way to describe it. The neck moat. Ye shall not pass thy neck moat. <laughs> Eyelets. Eyelets, that's it. Eyelets in the stream. Eyelets <laughs> in the moat. <laughs> Anything else, Sean, on this one for you? No, we can move on. That right, fair enough. There we go then. Uh, six place in the stream. Palmer's where we are. I fucking hate it. Bring the next kid up. Luther, it is so wrong. Is that you, Luther? Get it out of my sight. <laughs> A palm of islands. We make love to each other. Ha, ha. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Um, when we have a new talking kit theme, can you sing on it, please, Dan? That would be a little. Right, Mike. There we go then. Shirt number seven, the palm of 93, 95 away shirt, 25 points overall. Let's move on to shirt number six, 29 points from our rankers. And it is this it's the 95 97 Palmer home shirt, classic shirt for me. Uh, one that you think of straight away when you think of Palmer home shirts. So, yeah, let's go on to our rankers aren't here. And Jackson had this in eighth place. Uh, just a light design on the arms. Same as the home version. Not even the sponsor can save it, uh, unfortunately, he says. And Jay had this in fifth place. Uh, he says, love this kit. That Palmer era was a class one. The shoulder design is very, very funky. The sponsor works well. Uh, and the polo collar cuffs combo is always a winner. Right, okay. There we go. The rankers are here. Let's go to the rankers that are. And, Sean, let's start it with you. Because this was your number one shirt, mate. Fucking love Why it. Why was it number one? I, I don't know. No words. I like Fred Perry could make it. It's like the great polo collar. <laughs> I love the armpit to neck sleeves. You know where they are. You know where you stand with them. Yes. Um, almost similar colour to Chelsea's colourway on the... I think I ranked there as ninth on his away one. Um, yeah. and it's, a, it's classic Palmer, isn't it? Like the Jerusalem choke on the top, if that is a Jerusalem choke. Um, a globe artichoke even. Um, love the crest. <laughs> I, it's not It's not mental. It's not Chicken basic. Oil. It's just there, uh, yeah. yeah. Limited yeah, leads, well. in it as well? Leads 98, 99. Oh, no, no. 98. Don't, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it, mate. Sorry. Uh, and even the, the, the bits there, what they call the cuffs on the sleeve. Yeah. They'll just tie it up really well. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Uh, Dom, we'll come to you next on it. And fourth place for you on your list. Again, just we think of Palmer, you think of this shirt, like what Sean's kind of saying, the colours work well for you, yeah? 100%. Everything Sean said was completely right. The crisp collar, um, obviously, 80s Wimbledon for me, that absolutely class. Um, the Cuffs and the collar trim don't really match, but I don't really care. Love the fact that the um, pattern across the shoulders looks like a Puma logo as well. I think that yeah. ties in really well. But yeah, gorgeous colours, nice gradient, and we've seen that pulled off not very well previously. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing I will say about this shirt, I did have it, uh, and the only thing that's annoying is the, the uh, little bit near the collar is Velcro, uh, and it will <laughs> it will stick and like bobble up your shirt on this side it's absolutely horrible honestly because uh, the the material of the shirt is that very 90s bitty material so the, the, the velcro will stick to the shirt it's, it's a mess it's a mess but it looks nice and that's you know like my life it's a mess but it looks good <laughs> from the outside you know what i mean um no i'm not talking to you that much and it's still there yeah nah, no no uh, <laughs> dan let's quickly finish off with you then mate and yeah, this was eighth place for you. You're not a fan of it then, I guess. You know what? It's, it's one of the ones where I, just, I go a bit kit blind to it. And I just, oh, try as hard as I might, I just can't get into Palmer kit. There's one kit I really like where they had the yellow and the blue. It's the yellow with the blue diamonds. You have every now and then you see it in long sleeve. And that's yeah. unreal. That was an Umbro one. But this, I, no, I just, like, you know, you say about the collar and yeah. humour. I don't know. They, they sort of, for me, Puma didn't really get the nineties vibe right. It's only maybe like Munch and Gladback got like yeah. good Puma stuff. Everyone else I, I felt was well, not even that really. Yeah, I, I don't know, I just think Puma in the nineties maybe Derby County, they were right in the nineties for Puma, but I, I Lazio. Different... Lazio. 
Oh, no, yeah, that's yeah, that's mainly, like, mainly for the centenary crest. Them late yeah. nineties were lovely for me yeah. for that too. Oh, I don't know. I just can't get on with it. I don't know. I like there's bits. I like all the bits of it. I just don't like the sum of all parts. Do you know what I mean? So, and the Palmer badge. I don't know. Always looks a little bit like Gillingham. I, I just yeah, no, I just, <laughs> no. It's not quite hitting it. I just, just can't get on with it. I don't know why. Fair one, mate. Well, don't worry. It's the last Palmer shirt we're going to see this evening. Um, so, oh, there's a picture of him. Lovely. Oh. Wearing Mizuno as well, man. Oh. Wearing Mizuno as well. Sexy, man. That Gillingham badge on the socks as well. <laughs> God. The Up Loving the it. <laughs> uh, yeah, shirt number five then. Uh, the 97-99 Chelsea home shirt with 31 points. I mean, it's a Proper classic, proper classic Chelsea shirt. I think this season shirt, the 23 24 shirt, takes inspiration from that as well. If you've seen those leaks, I mean, you know, we talk about that is Umbro being what they were, and this is definitely an iteration of that. Uh, the rankers aren't here. Um, Jay's number one, I think he's said previously on his own channel on the Retro Football Kits YouTube channel. Uh, this is his favorite Chelsea shirt. I think he's got a tattoo on his arm. And the guy wearing it has this shirt on. That's how much he's a fan of this shirt. Uh, he says, the best Chelsea shirt. And as a Chelsea fan, as has to be top of the top. Top I of just, the top. Right. Top, top of remember? the top. That is, that's high. Yeah, he's got... He's, <laughs> I should have read this out before. He had a bit of a disclaimer, right? He said, I'd like to inform the audience that I'm writing these while stuck on a plane... Uh, on the runway after waiting six hours in the airport because Naples are deciding to have an air show today. So might be a tad delirious. Also, this list is full of great shirts worn by a great man. So it it's so it's be hard. See, so he's clearly delirious. It's be hard. He's a pirate. A pirate. <laughs> so obviously he's put here. He's put <laughs> fan. Has to be top of the top. As ha, as to be, not has to be. As to be, top of the as top. To be. As to be. As to be. As to be top. Kit, as, oh, to be top. Uh, as to be top. It's aspirational, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I love everything about this kit. Name a detail. I love it. Shiny stripes. Yep. Polo collar with white, black and yellow accents. Yep. It's perfection. We've got there in the end, but there we go. That's what Jay thought about it. And our good friend... Uh, Jackson had this uh, in fourth place at the time. At this time, even before Abramovich, Chelsea had a sexy team and a sexy shirt with it. The yellow and blue piping with the big white underarm working with the colorway of the crest. Hard to find fault. Also, classic sponsor uh, that you won't see nowadays. So, there we go. The rankers aren't here. Obviously, big fans of this one. But what are the rankers here thinking about it? Let's start with you, Dom, on this one. And it was um, eighth place for you in your list. Is it just, what was it, just the better shirts or you're just not a fan of Chelsea? Yeah, I think, like you said, the the rankings for these could have, like probably were quite close because this will suffer the fate that someone else's at, at, like, eighth shirt will wear, wear I'll have it as, like, third. Uh, yeah. Great shirt, but there was nine great shirts, so... Um, mm -hmm. You could have placed a lot of them fucking anywhere. But yeah, uh, like the throwback this season upcoming uh, yeah. for this particular shirt. And this is, I don't know, for me, this is like the most Zola. Um, if yeah. I think of this and I think of that big 25 in the like in the cut print, um, yeah. it's, yeah, and obviously he was a bit of an inspiration for us short kings, um, for, for loads of us across, across the country. Like, wow, look at that child who looks like a grown man. Yeah. If he can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I'm pretty, <laughs> I, we we didn't do it, so you know. It's still time. Look at Buffon; he's still rocking it at forty five. Yeah, he started young. He's not started last week. Like I just said, need that, just need that one good game. <laughs> he's there. had a career. He's not started at forty now. Like, oh, I'm here. I'm a ringer in the Serie A. <laughs> With Serie B, you know. Um, anything else, Dom? You'd like to mention about uh, this one? that circular badge is class again. Umbro did that on a few different shirts. I really yeah. like it. Uh, Auto glass sponsor is classic, and yeah, that like Jay said, the the kind of shiny stripes are just typical nineties. So so nice. You're absolutely right, Dan. Let's come to you next on it, my friend. Uh, and it was sixth place for you on your list. Yeah. Just a just a classic looking Chelsea shirt, yeah. 
Yeah, mate. It's hard to um, I. It was so t- the away kit just for me is so special mm-hmm. that it just tips it on this one. But yeah, I love the sponsor, love the colour, love the neck. It's 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 made a touch plain, but it's so perfect. It's just a it's a real nice balance to it. Yeah, yeah, it just looks class, doesn't it? I mean, God, look at him, he's fantastic. He's muscle, Sean. <laughs> Great legs, Annie. <isn't> <laughs> he has got cracking. cracking. Maybe his muscles are so muscular they had to put the undershorts on just to like. He's you know, ripping the shorts. Them. <laughs> too much of an advantage to have that much muscle on show. Um, yeah, look at short legs, there as well. Legs. Looks magic, doesn't it? To be um, fair, to be fair though, if you had normal size legs, there'd be no muscle there. That's all. That, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I just love it. it. Yeah, great. It's great. It's a it's a really good kit. Um, but yeah. it's just a little bit below. that way with the cores on it. Oh, so yeah, this this one comes just behind that. Yeah, this is like the just stuck in the middle. Really good kit. Unlucky. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough, mate. Long sleeve. Fucking hell! What a shirt that is. Yeah, absolutely banger. And you know, it's not about them, but you know, like United shirt as well. It's just Umbro just. They were just too good in uptown period. Absolutely, it's too good. I'm uh, not yeah, it's kind of be it. Obviously, another shirt that was sort of thrown back last season for Manchester United as well. We're there away. Uh, Sean, let's finish off with you uh, on this one. Uh, fifth place, but you've kind of got it right overall. I mean, Dom's right. When you look at this shirt, you can't just oh, you, you just think of Gianfranco Zola, right? Zola, Di Matteo, Franck Leboeuf. I love the. Um... The Bay Mac Coaster Crest. Um, I, 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 I prefer the Umbro, being Umbro, no diamond Okay. as well. Uh, everything that's been said has been said. It's a very nice kit. <laughs> You'd make a I great history that. teacher. Uh, yeah, do you know what, mate? What, 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 in this what, book. Fuck off. Every, everything yeah. that's happened, yeah. happened. <laughs> Get off. Every, if, if everything that's happened, 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 happened. Yeah. Yeah. We are where we are. <laughs> <laughs> Venture into the world. Yeah, but yeah, thanks, thanks for your great contribution to that shirt, Sean. Uh, fifth place overall, 31 points. It's a Chelsea 97 99 home shirt for Chelsea. Is that Jan Franco Zola? War moving on to shirt number four and 32 points from our rankers should have been higher, I think. But I think these next four shirts are, are very, very close, guys. So it could have really chopped and changed. It's all down to preference, as always. It's this. Anyway, it's the Napoli 90 to 91 home shirt. <sighs> Look at it, guys. Look at it. It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the rankers aren't here. They've ranked it. So I'll tell you where they've ranked it. Uh, Jackson had this third shirt made uh, made by the sponsor. <laughs> uh Literal definition of less is more. Love a collar and the, the lighter Napoli colour. Uh which which yeah, I do I do like the lighter colour. You're right, mate. Um apart from when Macron did it. No, not for me. Uh and Jay had this in second. Maybe this is because I've spent the last couple of days in Naples. All right, humble brag. Um uh, but this kit bangs. It's simple but beautiful. Nice shiny elements, iconic mask sponsor. Then the Scudetto badge just to add uh, to the prestige. Love it. Fair one, mate. Absolutely fair. Uh, let's. Who should we kick off with? Uh, let's go with Sean. Let's no. Yeah, Sean. Let's start with you on this one. Uh, it was seventh place for you. What was it then? Wasn't quite allowing you to have it further up your list. I mean, maybe I do it any some like injustice here. But it is very basic, but it's classic. I mean, I really like the kit. Different with the long sleeves and the collar, but I like the other ones better. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Fair, to the point, as always. Uh, Dan, let's, call, mm-hmm. let's come to you, mate, on, on this one as well. Because um, it was ninth on your list. Yeah. Why? Why? So... NRA, uh-huh. as nice as they are, and as much everyone absolutely loves them, you got to remember. Okay, this is nineteen ninety. Okay, I'm wearing a nineteen ninety one kit, and it's got a flappy collar and stuff. But things started to to move and change, and I just felt like an air just didn't go anywhere from nineteen eighty four. Yeah, it's the same design, and all they've done is gone. 
oh, let's get rid of that wool stuff we used to use. Let's use a, like some jacquard nylon. And it's just, a, it's not, it's quite, it's quite heavy. It's, it's not a very pleasant shirt to, to touch personally. Yeah. The colour's great. It's got a good sponsor, but, and I know it was Maradona's last, like, title win, do you know what I mean? But, like, yeah, I, I just can't get on with it. I, I just feel it's like, a lot of it's slapped together. It, fe- it feels like a shirt. If you said to me, "Oh, that's a shirt from 1983," I'd be like, "Yep, totally. That's that's fine." <laughs> but it just it's never moved on. Their shirts just yeah. never moved on, and it's mm-hmm. like, I just I don't know. I just and you even look at um, the Uruguay shirts that Anera was making um, in '96, mm-hmm. and it looked like a shirt from 1985. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It was so I don't know. They just they just didn't try any. It's just so it's just lazy really I, just, I, I know everyone goes on about it. I don't get on with their kits at all I just don't I don't have that whole nostalgia thing I prefer when it was like 80 what was it 86 87 when they won the first one yeah. and it's like the, the Baroni or whatever it was sponsor with the, that looks brilliant this no, I just I just don't I don't catch feels for it people wank over my sponsor but I was like whatever don't get <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I'm, a twi- I'm, I'm, a twi- I'm a Twix man. Fuck off. I don't want a man. Give me a Twix any day. <laughs> yeah. Hate me if you want. I just don't like it. Just, that's it. Yeah. No, that's I fair. To, I, I, I don't I, have to conform. I, I, no, you do it, mate. Stand up and be your own man. That's absolutely yeah. fine. I, I get what you're saying. I've got a Kashima Antlers from 93, uh, which is obviously an, uh, I, 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 I've, I'm selling it because I don't, I don't enjoy wearing it. <laughs> it's not... I get what you're saying. It's not comfortable. It's not. I just, yeah. I think they're stuck in. A, they were stuck in a, a time period where they were obviously successful and obviously didn't move along with the times. You see, you know, yeah. It's like I did. I did. Um, what? What? I did, on Twitter the other day, I, I, there was a tweet and I did a gif of uh, Steve Buscemi to Dom. You know, he's 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 in the school. He's like, "Hey, what's going on, fellow kids? That's a nerf <laughs> in this time period." <laughs> Old guy rocking up, thinking they're cool. Like, yeah, what's going on, kids? Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard. <laughs> Jesse Lingard of football kit manufacturers. Uh, Dom, uh, we'll finish. We'll finish with you. And uh, it was, oh, it was second on your list. Yeah. Yes. Because and why? Some things, even though they're uncomfortable to wear, they're they're a necessity. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. We wouldn't have messed our lives up with kids if we if we'd have gone by that rule. Um, <laughs> but I think I think yeah, I think objectively, just as a shirt to look at, I think obviously, yeah. if I didn't have to go through the static hell of wearing one, um, then then yeah, it might be different. But I've I've not got one of these. I've not had one of these. Um, yeah. But I do I do really get Dan's point about them kind of being stuck in the in the past. Um, but if it if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, so yeah, I think it worked for for so long. But obviously, we're just uh, left behind by other manufacturers. But yeah, the the kind of badge on the sleeve. Normally, you know, I'm I'm huge on making the badge like the most prominent element. But across a number of teams in Italy, we've seen them do it, and I think I I really do love it. Well, there we go, then. And I, I would I would pay for a Mars. I wouldn't do anything else for one. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> no matter how many times Dan keeps asking me. I mean that, <laughs> it's a only... very niche only fans that, yeah, that that's your that's Back your battle, we call it. Back... <laughs> Swiftly moving on from this shirt. <laughs> and that is the Napoli nineteen ninety one home shirt. Uh 32 points from our rankers. We're staying in Naples and we're moving over to third place. 33 points overall. I'm bloody wearing it, guys. I'm bloody wearing it. It's the 91 to 93 third shirt. Say 33 points from the rankers. Jay had this in third. Uh, having this kit in the office might make this bias, but seeing it up close just shows its class. The Umbro Wild designs, collars, etc. Uh, make it a beauty. You're absolutely right, mate. And it's light as a feather. It feels mm-hmm. beautiful, on honestly. Um, and Jackson had this one. I know it's Andy, yeah, but I'm always going to call you Jackson, mate. I don't. We had this when you were last on, and that. Like it's his yes, own fault. Yes, your name's Andy. 
but don't have such a cool name like Jackson, right? Because that's what you got to get called. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, no one wants to be called Aaron. So I have to go double A to make myself sound fucking cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jackson, anyway. He has put this one in... It'd be good if I could find it. He's put it in fifth place. Uh, red version of Spurs' infamous bird poo away shirt, but it works better. Umbro collar and the fade effect of the pattern is very 90s. You're absolutely spot on, mate. You're absolutely spot on. Um, Dan, let's start with you on this one because I'm interested to hear what you think because for you, this is the best shirt that Mr. Gianfranco's all the war. Yeah. Who, who looked better in it? Well, I can't even find a picture of him in it, so that's all you're getting. <laughs> Let me tell you, solid. T- not even just Zola. I couldn't find one picture of a player wearing this shirt. You know, it um, wouldn't surprise me if they they had to have worn it because they would have yeah. played Napoli. No, hang on, they, they are, weren't. They Napoli. are Napoli. Yeah. No, they would have played Lazio. Though, so they had to wear yeah, this because yeah, yeah. the other kit was white, white with like a blue crazy diamond. If anyone's got these, so I've got all three of the kits from that year, and I did have at one point the uh, the Umbro track jacket as well yeah. i'm telling you right now boys that it's the best it's, it's for a set it's the t- it's in my top five of sets ever for yeah. any any like set of shirts that someone's had do you know what i mean it is they're incredible like to go from the year before to this must have been like so, someone come from out of space or something <laughs> like to, to, to naples it it was like everything arrived it's like oh mate honestly it's incredible. It's, yeah. it's so stunning. Up, you got the fabric. You got that, like I say, the fabric, the collar, the mm-hmm. fit. You know, it's it looks great, even with like the sort of that not totally baggy arm. Oh, it's just, yeah. oh, it's yeah. heaven, mate. Absolute shirt heaven. I've had that shirt for fifteen years, and it's still in my top ten. I've had it for Love fifteen it. minutes, and now it's in mine. So it's absolutely. <laughs> <perfect. laughs> uh, no, and the home shirt. Obviously, I could have picked the home shirt, but I thought because we've got this. Uh, I could get this away well. that even yeah. the goalkeeper shirt. I've seen the goalkeeper shirt as well. Oh, that's unbelievable! It's, they they got they got <laughs> the treatment, the absolute treatment by Umbro. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, Dom. We'll come to you next, mate. Uh, fifth place for you uh, on your list again. You know, Umbro getting a lot of love this week, and I think it's deserved for you. Then, does this massive weird design work on a shirt? Yeah, usually I think uh, I probably even prefer it controversially on the um, Spurs shirt because um, it's got the it's got like more like three colours across yeah. the shirt, which I think to really emphasise that pattern works works really well. Um, but yeah, I think the crest obviously maintaining the the Napoli blue and standing mm. out is is gorgeous. I think. Yeah, this was just victim of again the top top list, but the collar with those little popper buttons that aren't actually poppers anyway. They just look like it, and that material's like gorgeous to wear. Umbro will get, you know, should rightly get a load of praise, and now we're seeing them getting back to to the former glory as well, which is great. Yeah, and you talk about them kits at Boston United this week, mate. What is going on? What yeah, exactly. Is going on? Oh, mate, they've they've. You know, potentially. Umbro, I'll, I'll say it here now. Potentially, back at it, absolutely back at it. Potent- you know, you know what I love about it because they like they see themselves as a challenger brand now because of where they can compete in the market. Yeah, and they are just going. They do. Each team will get a completely bespoke. Okay, yeah. the, the physical shirt will be, but they they will go right. You're getting a bespoke pattern, and they yeah. they're brilliant. They they work so hard and they maximize every i've got so much time for where they are now and yeah. you look at the shit night turnout <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> compared to like what umbro are doing and you look at you know you're boston united and you get that and like fuck me what liverpool get jesus christ My, minecraft yeah no <laughs> ridiculous ridiculous uh sean let's finish off with you on this one not feeling it so much as, as the rest of the rankers. Eighth place, what is it that's kind of turned you off? The colour as well. The colour's not very nice. Um, it's not a very nice red. Oh, it is. Um, <laughs> it is. Um, Croatia do the little red checks well. I don't think this works. And and it's, it's, it's okay. It's not as good as the rest. Fair one. I, all won't, right, then, I won't wear it on a night out. 
Well, I have worn it on a night out. Yeah, I bet you have, mate. And it is Sex Panther. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, with your A-line boots on as well, just rocking yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> I made sure I got the boots. Click, click, clack, I made clack, sure clack. I said boots. Come on, then. <laughs> For the queue. Just pop that collar. Yeah. Oh, be popping something. Um, right. Third place on our list, then, from our rankers. And it, I, I think it's one of the most beautiful shirts of the night, as I have to say. It's just, it's just, oh, man, beautiful. The Napoli third shirt from 91 to 93. With 33 points overall from our rankers. Right, I've got a little, I've kept it. I don't know, I've kept it under wraps all show. We're making history today on this show. It's never happened before on Full Kit Rankers in the 55, 56 episodes. We have joint first shirts, both shirts. <laughs> Two shirts. I've, I've I've played promo shot. shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be like the everyone, everyone put their hands everyone put their hands on yeah that'll be the thumbnail there we go <laughs> <laughs> um, the world's dead the world's yeah, dead joint, joint first. And this, I think this this shows where this list was and how people really liked all the shirts um, you know because they've not even broke 40 points both shirts are on 37 points which is rare for a shirt coming top so again Shows the quality of the shirts we've had this week, which is brilliant for a player's career. I think we need to do a few more player career episodes. And while there's no football on, I think it makes sense to do it during the summer. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's move on to... It's hard to break it because, as you may have known, we've not looked at any shirts from his national side yet. So both shirts, home and away shirt, from his national side, have come uh, joint first. But being polite and, and do it in order of an Australian soap, We'll go home and away. Uh, so starting with the home shirt, uh, and it, I could have picked one, a couple before, I know, but I really like this shirt, and that's why I've done it. I've been a bit selfish. It's this. It's the 96 home shirt, obviously from Nike. Obviously, it's right there. It's behind, I do every single time. Right behind me there. I just, I, I just love that one. I, I, the one before it was sexy, and the one before that was sexy. I get it. But I've gone for this Nike one, uh, mainly because I remember him scoring that goal at Wembley. Uh, against England, uh, I think that's the reason why I've picked it. And it used to annoy me that they had no, obviously the Italian FA didn't allow sponsors to uh, sponsors logos to be on there, which was really pissing annoying. And you got a Nike Nike tick or a Nike swoosh on there. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go through the rankers and see where everyone has put it uh, this week. We'll start with Jackson, and he has put this in sixth place. Uh, feels very Nike nineties template. Italy have had better home shirts. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, but I just wanted to put this one in because I'm a big fan. And Jay had this one in eighth place. Uh, nitpick territory. Uh, there is nowhere... Uh, this is nowhere near a bad kit, but compared to the others, this is a bit basic. Only defining feature is the collar. So yeah, class kit, uh, but a bit basic on this list compared to other shirts, which is absolutely fair. Uh, I'm say Dom, we'll start with you on it. Let's get your opinions on this one. Um, number one for you <laughs> on your list. Tell us Mate. why it was the best one. I, I just love it. I think there's a big hit of nostalgia with it as well because yeah. at that age, I think that there's a couple of kids I'd seen have it and I was thinking, fucking hell, that's nice. Yeah. Um, so I, I taxed it off them. Um, and, <laughs> um no, I've not, heard, I've not heard someone describe Robin as taxed for ages. <laughs> that is so mank, it's wearing a Ben Sherman. And do, do you want do you want to give me that sign goalkeeper glove? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Bolton, that's not Manchester lad, that's Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah mate it's just just heavy hits and nostalgia obviously that like maldini t challenging ronaldo in it and stuff it yeah i think it's gorgeous obviously I, this is one of those rare scenarios where you do prefer the fan version over the over the player's version yeah. because you miss out on the nike swoosh which yeah. uh, even just like the dry fit stitching on the side as well and the collar and cuffs matching this template uh, that you know modern classics like the roma uh, third have been born out of as well um yeah. doesn't get enough love uh the nike like 
authentic tag on the bottom as well. I think it all just works really fucking well. Uh, the hanger appeal as well with that Nike um, inside tag and uh, on the neck, and then obviously the Italian flag and the the word mark as well uh, within the uh, inside of the collar are just class. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, big love for that crest as well. My favourite iteration of the Italian crest on a on a shirt. They should go back to it. Mess around with it too much. Uh, Dan, let's come to you next on this one. And third place for you. Yeah, tell us tell us what it is about this one that you you found appealing. Just absolutely lush. Nothing I can really add to what the boys have said. You know, go forth from here, boys, if everything's in place. Um, <laughs> it's just, yeah, gorgeous. Great on. Italia on the arse. Oh, um, yeah. And also, a few differences with the player spec as well. Massive, great. It, it, the FIGC badge is, is ginormous on the actual yeah. to, compared to the, to the to the fan version, and they also didn't let the players have the one with Italia on the ass, I believe, according to Couch Show ninety. So they didn't have that on there. So mm. yeah, again, there's like a real bonus to getting the um, the uh, the fan version, the, the home kit and the away kit, short sleeve, long sleeve, unbelievable, and probably at least best walkout jacket. Maybe joint joint top that year as well with the, the yeah. sort of the band. Well, oh, I'm really yeah, yeah. Band, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Filth in it. Um, <sighs> Nike were Nike were incredible. Like that '96 period for Nike, unreal. Yeah, yeah it's just just be, be beautiful. Great numbers. I think Maldini for me is probably the best number set on that. Just looks incredible. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, really annoying that they didn't wear the away shirt at Euro 96 as well. They only wore this one, didn't they? Which was annoying because that away shirt is absolutely beautiful. Could have been, could have switched, could have switched it round, had the away one, and then the whole one for the next one we're going to see. Um, but no, I, I think this is just, I think this is when I really started to look at Italy shirts, obviously, and thinking, wow, like so nice. I know the, the Nike one before that is beautiful with the red on it, looks really, really sexy as well. But it's, it's all about this, and it's like, the mustard is such a weird colour to be attracted to, but it just works so it's well. It's gold. Man. It's gold. It's on the sock it's as well. Obviously, the one before. Not gold. It's mustard. The one the 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 year before Black was gold. was nicer, but <laughs> this this is still just gorgeous. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm the really they had well, one in between as well, didn't they? Which was the one where they snuck the night tick onto the jackard, and it's like just in there. Oh yeah, 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 the one, yeah. That, that sneaky one in between them from night one there from the Deodora, but oh, well, just. Oh, is there is there a better nation for kits all the way through time than Italy, on average? No, they've been spoiled. He's gonna say Brazil, in it. I know. I think. I think I Italy, I, Italy. I think. I, I think those Puma years mm. after Kappa, mm. the Puma, I could I could live without uh, up they until Euro Yeah, the no, Neil they, Barrett stuff. That was. I think, I think more more misses than hits, though. I think. But yeah, I, 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 I agree. Yeah. I agree with what you're saying. And they've for for a, a nation. I don't think anyone's anyone's done better than they won the World Cup in the Puma. I think did they? 2006. Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. I think that's that's a miss. Oh no, I've seen that. Is that one of Rob? That it's, it's Rob Warner's won that, isn't it? Yes, the welded one, isn't it? Yeah. No, do you want me to I don't, I don't like it. And also, yeah. the gold. All the, if you get any name set on it, all just fucking just fucking <laughs> off, done it. Like yeah. they're always in, they're always fucked. Find a really <laughs> new one. Oh, no, you can't. You can't. Uh, he's wearing a an Italy shirt, so it's only right we come to you last, Sean. It's third place for you as well, mate. Again, do you just you sharing the nostalgia of what this shirt brings when you look at it? I love the royal blue on any kit. Um, Gold trim, yeah, it's gorgeous. Just uh, you, see, you see, like you do see Zola Maldini in it. I even love the keeper kit version of that as well. The one that they wore at Euro '96. Yeah, love that. It's got the sticky bits on it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, love that. I, I track the ball. You're not moving. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Uh, well, there we go. Uh, it used to annoy me that he wore 21 as well. I don't know why. That was just a bugbear of mine. But yeah, it's the Italy 96 home shirt. Uh, like I say, joint first. So we've got one shirt left. And I think I've saved the best to the last, boys, I have to say. Uh, absolute stunning shirt. Um, and yeah, it's the Italy 94 away. I mean, 
fuck's sake. The home shirt is beautiful enough. The away shirt just adds even more. Um, so, yeah, the rankers, where did they have it? Uh, Jay had this in fourth place. And he says, this design is one of Italy's best. The home is way better, but still all the class elements, like the badge on the base, the triangle designs are all there uh, still and makes this kit lovely. It's, it's actually spelled lovely, L-O-V-L-E-H. Uh, Man- Mancuni is taking over you, mate. Uh, I'm telling you. And our good friend Jackson had this number one. Clean, crisp, great crest and vintage matching cuffs and collar. Uh, brought back now by Vela Sarsfield. Uh, Sarsfield, faultless, he says about it. Um, the rankers that are here, uh, Dom, let's kick it off with you. Hey, well. Please, just do. Just get it out of the way. Because <laughs> right. I've, fucked, I've fucked up, haven't I? Yeah, seventh place, mate. And you're less. Is there like yeah. an as for that? Uh, he, he's not on next week's show, mate. He, yeah. One match ban. Yeah. One match ban. <laughs> Fucking hell. Seventh um, place, mate. Seventh place. You know what? I think when we were going through like the ninth place shirt before, I looked and I thought, what? Yes. <laughs> I think I've messed up here. Um I but there. I don't if I was gonna try and justify it being lower than like the top five, mm-hmm. as well as obviously all the other shirts being great, the the arms, I don't know whose arms are getting through there. <laughs> to be fair, and obviously, unless it's got the the Italy badge, it is just an Andre Agassi like tennis oh, shirt. Okay. Um, it is just that, uh, but sounds it, even better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It should have been number one on your list now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one plus one plus one. <laughs> uh, well, I don't love it. Good one. <laughs> Um, but no, uh, I should have I, I should have put it higher, but I didn't. So go fuck yourselves. I mean, there's no need to get like that. No need to get shirty, mate. Jesus. Um, fair one, mate. That's that. that you know, listen. You 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 rank how you rank. I, there's no judgment from me. Uh, there may be from people watching. Left handed, upside down let, on the couch. Let let us. Know. <laughs> let us know in the comments how much you hate Dom and why you made a terrible mistake. <laughs> In seventh place, <laughs> Sean, come to you next. You had it one place lower than the home shirt. You had it in fourth. <clears throat> just, just royal blue is more you because of Stockport County. Yeah, I, I like the colours. Nice, nice little uh, Italy triangle there. Um, yeah. I quite like the sleeves. I mean, my arms would get through there. Um, <laughs> I've, only got a, I've, only, I've only got a whisking muscle. Where is it? There it is. Um, <laughs> with skin I think it, yeah that's what we call it um, I mean it's classy yeah. nothing out there nothing but I, I'd wear it I mean Palmer the, the, I put Palmer ahead of it because it, it needs blue shorts it needs blue shorts blue that. shorts would, yeah blue yeah. shorts would, would have set it off a bit uh, maybe just wearing all, cha- all white for it uh, fair anything else Sean you'd like to add um, it needs blue shorts <laughs> Why is the ref standing on that Nigeria player? I know that. No, it looks like leg. he's injured him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 94 World Cup was wild, mate. The one itself. Um, apart from the not final. Even any, not even got any studs, that ref. Just got a pair of tennis shoes, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. They're uh, XC 975, is it, mate? It's Andre Agassi. He's trying oh, to take yeah. the, the shirt off him to take the Wimbledon. Yeah, that um <laughs> I'll use that for Wimbledon, lad. Uh, let's finish off with Dan then. And Dan, it was your second place shirt. The, I think the Italy shirts, if you're going to separate them, were top of the pile, weren't they? I think, um, like I said, I could have picked another two or three. Um, but I've had to do two from each and then a, a rascal Coventry. But for, the, for you, mate, you know, uh, other than the Napoli third, this was definitely the best, second best shirt that he wore in his career, yeah? Yeah, this was a this is a really tough one. Um, this it, Napoli just because it's so standalone, I think to that to that year. I mean, I, I sort of love so much about it. Yeah. But yeah, this kit is unreal. Fit the feel of it, probably one of the best fitting shirts I've I've ever owned. The home and away of this is is unreal. Um, away yeah. is actually like quite hard to find 
the, the home one you, you you can find proper easy, but the away one is like hard. And to find it in the player spec where it doesn't have the Deodora, I don't know. I just don't because I'm not looking for it all the time because I've got one. Yeah. Or yeah. It's just like, I just don't see it crop up. Um, oh, it's beautiful. Look, it's just I'm on. It's amazing. Proper night out shirt looks ridiculous. Absolutely, I agree, mate. Absolutely, and I think you know the early shirts coming top. <laughs> Surprise, maybe a little bit, but I think. They are worthy winners. So, yeah, both early shirts, the 96 home, 94 away. Joint top this week on our list, both 37 points overall. What a career. What what a set of shirts, this genius war. Uh, I will show you our scores, just so you know I'm not cheating. Look at Dan getting right in to check. Uh, <laughs> look, seventh. What a sickener. Absolute sickener. Um, and everyone scores, obviously. <laughs> There we go. Thank you very much. Um, that's it. That is this week's show. Uh, if you're a Chelsea fan, a Zola fan, even if you're not, I hope you've enjoyed it and the shirts that we've seen. I forgot to say at the start, so I'll say it now. Hey, if there's any players, teams, anything that you would like us to rank, get in the comments, let us know. Hit us up on, obviously, all the socials, Twitter and Instagram, at Talking Kit on everything. Let us know if there's any players you want to see, you want us to do. Um, we're always up for suggestions and stuff like that. Don't think it's, it's a community show. It's a community channel. We want the community involved in every which way. But thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was a great 10 and a great show. Um, Sean, finally you're back. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully it's for a long time, not a short time. Anything going on? Anything you want to tell people? What's happening with you? Probably, but I can't remember at the minute. Um, Do it for next week. Then. Do it for next week's yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> got nothing going on. Can't All wait right. for the start of the season. Um, no, it's about well, it. Yeah, lovely stuff. Break, uh, Dom, the legend. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for being here. It's uh, yeah. it's always it's always a pleasure, never a chore. Um, <laughs> what's going on in the Kit Kingdom that you can tell us? Uh, anything coming up? Um, we have managed to call a lot of the peasants. Uh, so they're not that much of a nuisance any, anymore. <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of tar and feathering, um, taken taken right care of. There was this one woman couldn't have kids, so uh, we. we well, the story goes. Uh, we... <laughs> You're definitely high, Jesus. <laughs> uh, no, I'll be uh, I'll be in Manchester City Centre. Uh, yep. this coming week uh, to talk to some other kit lovers. Um, okay. So if anyone's about this Thursday, Thursday, give, us a, give us a shout. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be I'll there. Have... More, more than happy to have a pint and talk kit elsewhere. Absolutely, Absolutely. rather than on here. No, that's, that's fabulous, mate. Uh, have a good week. I hope it's uh, full of joy and kits. Dan, mate, I love you being on here, mate. It's absolutely uh, fantastic. Is there anything you need to have a go at me about or anything you need to mention or anything like that? I mean, I think the rider this week was pretty weak. You know? okay. Dom, Dom handles that, mate. Blame him. Nothing pack to do pack with of me, egg and cress and, you know, ready salted. That's <laughs> not on, mate. You know, that <laughs> definitely was not fucking <laughs> filet mignon. Um, yeah, it's just good good boys. You know what, I'm just... I'm just like actually like decompressing from fucking shirts, boots at, at the minute now. That has just been that has fucking swamped my life. So yeah. that's that's over for another fucking nine months. <laughs> but, um, yeah, all good. I'm all good, mate. Just doing. We're just doing. Uh, me and Joe's doing like just iconic home kits, like iconic club stuff now. So we're just yeah. doing a month, and we've got well just over a month. We've got like about thirty kits to. To, to showcase, so that's going to be our, nice. our bit of a, a nonsense. Happy to see the uh, demise of Twitter as well, I imagine. Oh, <laughs> so good. Like, so, oh, that's brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> Finally, going to die. Well, we'll all be over Instagram annoying you on there, mate, so you're lucky you can look out for that. I also need to come back on and um, redeem myself after that horrible showing on the live a few months ago. Um, yeah, you, you... Yeah, I had, I had a uh, Hannah was putting me off. I'm gonna blame Hannah for it. She was like uh, putting me off, and then she got what answer bang on. I know. <laughs> That's why she's on next when we come back and do how much. Jim, but I, right, I know, 
Hey, listen, she's good at spending money, so she'll be all right, here, mate. Let me tell you, she'll know prices and stuff. Right. Let me tell have you. you. Have you got the? Have you got your booking sorted for the the psychiatrist you're going to need after you've edited our Desert Island kit? <laughs> have you got that booked up yet? I don't know. NHS yeah. waiting lists are a bit long. Just yeah, make sure you're all right. Listen, now you've put me on on the spot. Your episode will be, will be out this Sunday, so it's Wednesday today. Sunday, your episode will be out. Yes, it's about two hours long. Yes, it's going to take me a mountain of time to do. But let me tell you, it's worth it. E.T. and everything, it's most definitely worth listening to. The weirdest episode I've ever done of anything, ever. Ever. Oh, You're you going the wrong way. You need to go the other way, man. <laughs> <laughs> go to your left. There you go. You're to your left. To the left, to the left. There you go. Oh, yeah. No, everyone, make sure you go and following Dan on on an, obviously Instagram, uh, the best kit Instagram going. Uh, description links in the description all the time, you know. That. Anyway, uh, right, we need to get out of it because Dom needs to go and fly off to the to the moon. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to be in a rank band with you. Smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your kit loving friends. We'll be back for more full kit rankers and desert island kits when I come back with editing them. But as always. Whatever you do, just make sure you keep talking kit. There we go. Bang on. An hour and a half. Uh, <laughs> <all right. laughs>